Good morning. This webinar on the Wellness Score System within Cash Practice is going to go over how to archive various exams that you may have ran. That is a specific set that you want to archive that you're no longer running. You've changed your exam. Uh, you've tested various parameters and have decided that this isn't the correct set of parameters you want to run on a regular basis. Whether you did specific testing for a corporation or for a specific health fair, and it's not something that you'd normally run, you've already gone over those report of findings, and uh, you don't want to confuse your main screen so that it's very easy for you to continue to run the exam that you normally run within the office. So we're going to pull up the actual exam sets. By hitting WSS settings, that'll bring up all the exams that I have saved within the system underneath Dr. Denise's account. Here you see I have Mac. You see the ones that are in bold. So basic functional wellness, chiropractic only, corporate screening. These are ones that are actually loaded as part of the base components or base testing within the wellness score system. Any of the ones that you see that have been saved are ones that I created. Almac, Bondi Chiropractic Center, Core Tests. These are all ones that uh, I was testing with or have tried at different times. So I'm just going to show you how to simply archive those if you're no longer using them. Here within the action screens, you see that you can either copy this set and then rename it. You see that this is actually a fire file drawer, which would be very similar to archiving. And this would be to actually sort the actual parameters. We're going to concentrate on the file drawer cabinet today. So here, I no longer want to use the Mac one. Uh, it's something that I actually ran in the corporation. Simply hit the archive button. It's going to ask whether it's OK to archive that. Say yes. Basically, when I go back here, it shows that it's now successfully archived, archived that set. It's no longer on my screen. I can do the same thing with Bondi. Archive that set. It'll take a second. And the reason why I would do this is about over a period of a year, I've ran, you know, gone to 10 different corporations. I've ran or changed my re-exam or an exam set, and I don't want to clutter my page, so it's very easy for me to look up the exam that I'm actually working on. This is a way to actually archive them, put them kind of in the file drawer, and then if I need them, I can always go back to them. So here you see, again, another set that's been archived. I'm just going to go through and actually archive all of the ones other than the Women's Expo, which is something that I'm currently using. So you can kind of see how that works. I've left the nutritional panel and the Women's Expo up as ones that potentially I'm currently using within the practice, as well as the ones that were provided as the uh, initial set of exams to give you an idea of how to utilize and run a set of parameters within the wellness score. Now if I want to go back and actually look at what I've archived, I hit the show archive button. And it takes a second, but all these actual sets are still there. And if I want to unarchive it, all I have to do is click the reversal arrow here, and it's now been successfully unarchived. And you see that now it's back on my main page and I can utilize it. This tutorial is set up to allow the doctors to see how to archive sets of parameters to archive their actual test exams and to unarchive them if they need to, to bring them back or it's a set that they want to reutilize uh, within their practice.